Hello guys, welcome to this uh, last, last part for this milestone number four. So what we done in the last one was uh, inside the caption screen. What we've done is the fact that now you can click on a photo and click share and we get back the image upload already on Amazon S3 and we can see this image. If I go right there and I do this, I'm going to see my image right there. Okay. So this is what we've done in the last one, but now it's, if I refresh, I have, I don't have this photo. And also, uh, <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, right now it's really not what we want. So yeah, so this is what we want. So I mean, uh, this is what we need to do now. It's to add a mutation where we're going to finally uh, create the photo. So we're going to add the mutation uh, inside the mutation folder. We're going to add a new one called create photo mutation that uh, GS. We're going to just go inside like photo, just taking this basic um, uh, GraphQL uh, tag. OK, and inside this one, what we're going to do, it's um, we're going to replace this photo ID to be caption. It's going to be a type of string and we're going to have image URL type of string also if you don't know what i mean it's like this create photo function we have right there okay take a caption in the image url that's it now here we can call that create photo and now for that we're gonna have the caption equal to the caption we have at the top the variable we just create not caption but caption and image url uh yeah image URL is going to be equal to image URL. And now what we're going to return now, it's we're going to import from the feed page uh, screen is fragment. Okay. Because we want to push back that to the feed sc uh, screen when we update. So we're going to have feed photo fragment. And now right there, we can say a uh, feeds photo who came finally from this value right there. Feeds photo. Okay. <coughs> So now I'm going to import this mutation. So I'm going to create photo mutation from, and I think I forgot to do one thing. Yeah. Uh, doing this. And also like I show you, I think uh, what we can do now is you can export default uh, value like this. Okay. So like that from like export default as like this. Uh, and now I'm going to do the same for the create photo. So that's going to be create photo mutation and as create photo mutation like that. Okay. So now that's going to import as an object from the default. Oh, we make a mistake. We made URL take a dollar sign here because we create a variable. Okay. So we create a mutation. So we're going to get that from the GraphQL server, I think. And now if you open create um, curly bracket, you have curly mutation, sorry. And now if I do create photo mutation like that, I have it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, it's also, I'm going to import from React Apollo, the GraphQL uh, HOC, uh, I order component, and I'm going to wrap my with Apollo with my uh, caption script with that. And now inside that, I'm going to put the create photo mutation. Okay. This one now. Here we're gonna do like I like to do. It's we're gonna use we're gonna create a props. And this props, remember, take uh, receive mutate inside an object. And inside that, now you can create your own function on create photo. Okay. And this function is gonna be the one we're gonna call right there. So that's gonna be here where we're gonna create the on create on photo. Okay. So this function here, the way you are, it's we're gonna get some variables. So it's gonna be an object. And you're going to see why I call that variable like that. It's because this thing take variables and because I don't want to key value the same, it's going to be zero. So that we're going to have the update function for updating the screen after it's done, uh, updating the, the some of the query we have, the cache we have already. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the one we have right now here, it's, we have the start the data, the create photo. So the create photo is what we get back from the mutation and now what we can do is we're going to need to have the query here a query where we're going to um, uh, get the photo uh, the same query finally we need to get from 
uh, the feed screen. So this one here. I'm going to show you another way later, but for now, we're going to use this one. In the next uh, milestone, we're going to do some kind of refactor also, because this thing now you can use, uh, uh, make use of the connection. And this is what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do now here, it's I'm going to import this feed uh, fragment from my screen, feed screen, fragment. Okay. And now this get photo is going to be the query I'm going to have here. So you can do store that read query. And inside that, you can read the query get photo. And now this query here is going to have an object of photo. And that's going to be the photo, uh, photos, all the photo you have here. Okay. So what you can do here is you can write data to this store passing the same query. And now what you can do, it's in data. Now it's going to be equal to photos. So the photos cache we have here. And now because I want that to be at the top because it's a new image, I can do this like that. I'm going to append this photo first in front of the other one. And now I can call this on create photo right there. So this one's going to be again a premises. And you have this function like that uh, asynchronous. And now this one can receive the variable we need. So the variable we need is caption and image URL. So for this one, we have image URL equal to finally the result from S3 dot remote URL. And the caption is going to be equal to this that state that caption. Okay. So now if I run this code and then we check with the server, so if we see some green, that means it's good. So I'm going to upload a new photo. I'm going to say hello. Well, I'm going to share. So you see the mutation is done. And now we get that, boom, okay? We get it to save. If you don't trust me, oh, we have some problem here. It's not in the good order. We're gonna change that. So if we go to the bottom, we see the new photo we just created, hello world. And it was created uh, six hours ago. I think we didn't change the time, but you see the image was right there. Well, now we have some kind of problem. It's when I finish to create the image, when I click share here, I was supposed to air have here a loading. So I'm going to show loading here to be false by default. And I'm going to import the activity indicator from React Native. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to say finally when I click here, I say this, this that set state loading to be true. And finally, when this one is done, we say this that set state loading to be false. So now we're going to have that. But now what I would like is to have the loading showing here. So if this is that say the loading, we want to return a view with the activity indicator inside that with a size of large. We don't want a small one. And now in the style, I'm going to create a new property called uh, loading wrapper. And this one's going to have the same value of this one, but uh, not this one, but like almost. So we're going to do this and change that to be one. So now here, uh, if we upload a new image, you see, we get this loading spinner right there in the middle. You're going to stop when it's going to be finished. Okay. But now I would like to close my windows, close my model here. Okay. So how can we do this? It's going to be pretty simple. So what do we do? It's we're going to reset finally. Um, we're going to reset finally the, um, the navigator or what you can do also with Wix it's to close um, every model because remember this thing, it's a model. So you can uh, close uh, the model. Okay. <clears throat> so what you can do, I think it's going to be easier to do this way. It's this, that props, that navigator, that this miss model. And now here you can show, uh, choose the animation type and I'm going to choose the slide down like that. So now if we do this, we're going to upload this image. Uh, this is an awesome image and now look what's going to happen. And now he's there. Just take it, uh, let him the time 
to uh, to um, to fetch from the S3 bucket right there. So you see now, uh, this is an awesome image. And if we scroll down, I think we're gonna see the other one right there. So now we have some kind of problem in the server. So I will go there. So I will go inside my server. And I think if we go inside post photo, uh, not post here, we have here um, the list of photo here, okay? And the list of photo right now are not in order. Uh, like they go from the, the, oh, you say that, like the, 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 the first one who has created is at the top and the other one came always at the bottom. So they go in order of the date, but not the the order we want. We want to get that, um, I, oh, you said, I think it's descendant, yeah? <clears throat> so this is what we're gonna, um, we're gonna finally uh, change. So uh, the way we'll do this for now, I think it's gonna be easier to just run my query like that because we're gonna make use of offset and limit in the future we're gonna have some offset and limit here because we're gonna do some kind of pagination so for now we're gonna create that like that so from p in photo what do we want it's we want to order by ascend then with the value of inserted at so, uh, at so we want that from the time stand here where we create inserted at and now you can say repo that all and you pass your query like this okay so now if i refresh again uh ascendant insert at did i miss something i think it, oh i said this and then huh? uh, this and then one sec, ascendant, ascendant, SCS, and I think now it will be descendant like that. Maybe you check that's gonna crash. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check. So Elixir, uh, you can check, check search for Ecto. So Ecto, they have a really good one. So we can say order by, order by. And we have ascendant and oh that was descendant sorry like that and now we should be good yep so this is the beauty of uh, live cutting so now we get from the the top like that so you see the lattice image at the top and the old one at the bottom and now also you can like all the photo you want. Also, you can like the one you have, etc. So that's it for the milestone. What we can do for the next one would be to um, talk about maybe the connection, uh, doing some kind of pagination also, because now we start to have a lot in the first query. And also one of the things we want now is to maybe create a profile page and add comment to a photo. So what I think would be nice for the next one would be to add a comment to a photo. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this milestone. Let me know in the comments. Uh, sorry for this mistake. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking that was like that, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed the, the series yeah, uh, right now and uh, the code is going to be on GitHub. So we're going to talk in the next one, in the next milestone. We're going to surely start tomorrow. So have a good night, everyone. Bye.